When animating an MS Paint, there are tools that are commonly used. I'm going to show you how to use an eraser, paint bucket, eyedropper, pencil, curve tool, a circle tool, and the copy and paste technique to make a successful animation. But before I get to that, it is important to be organized. Here you see I have a separate folder on my desktop for my animations. From there, I have separated my animations into three categories. Animated music videos, series, and shorts. Selecting the series option, you see I have further separated my animations into two series. The series labeled Heta Oni is even further separated into episodes and the opening. The layout is not important. Episode 1 is no longer divided. As you could see, despite the episode's length of 5 minutes, excluding the opening and the ending themes, I have used exactly 570 frames to make it, and that is not including the images I never used, which there are over 600 of. Now, onto the animation process. Here, I have created the basic skeleton of the animated character, which include only its head and chest. Now, using the curving tool and pencil, I have created the outline of a familiar character, America, from the hit anime series Hetelia. I've gotten rid of the red circles using the eraser tool, which is handy in ways other than just fixing your mistakes. Here, I have selected the red. Right clicking on anything that is of the same color will erase only that and leave any other colors alone. And here is the same thing with blue. Here I have selected yellow and then selected the purple with the right button. Now, right clicking anything that is yellow will replace it with purple. Here I have gone directly over the outline with another color, making sure each line has been covered and shifted slightly. Now I used the copy and paste technique to delete the black outline. To delete only one color in particular, you first pick out the selection tool. You then click on the bottom box located below the toolbar. Then you cut out the image, make the remaining background the color you want to replace it with, and then paste it back after right clicking on the color you want to replace. Here you see I have done this with any part of the image that is light green. Doing this once more, I replace the red color with black. This is the movement I have created so far. Now onto the finished animation. That was a total of 15 frames. Next, you need to color each frame. It is a good idea to keep a color sheet so you don't need to remake each color after every frame. You paste the color sheet onto the screen, select the eyedropper tool to select the colors, and then use the paint bucket to color the character. Here is the colored animation. And now it's time to put in the backgrounds. Here is another time the copy and paste technique comes in handy. On the animated image, I made the background any color that is not on the animated character. In this case, I used blue. Then I copied the image and pasted it onto this background, making sure I selected the bottom box in the selection tool. And now for the final project. Pasting the animation onto the background allows more complex animations than when you animate directly onto the background. Now you have to put them together. The most commonly used program for this is Windows Movie Maker, which is located here on my desktop. When you select this program, this is what you will see. To import the animation, select Import Picture, located here. Then find the folder and highlight all the frames of the animation. Note that you could hold down the control key to highlight different frames located in different areas of the folder. The frames then go into the Collections file located here. Highlight all the frames and then drag them into the timeline. Zoom into the timeline so that each frame looks longer, and then cut them so they are 0.13 seconds long. Repeat this process until all the frames have been shortened. Select Save to my computer, located here, name the file, and you should be all set.